Hi everyone, welcome to the latest edition of the Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Wes McKinney, here with head men's and women's track and field coach at Concord, Mike Cox. Coach, it's always great to have you on today. Pleasure being here. Thanks for having me. Coach, it's conference week for you guys. A lot of people that are in the running to maybe be a conference champion, at least be an all-conference runner this season. You have some seniors that are looking to go out on the top, some freshmen burst onto the scene for you. Just a good, healthy mix of, of, of standouts and, and veterans for you, but I do want to start on the ladies' side and in the sprints particularly with Emily Henry who comes in. She's ranked in the top three and the one, the two, and the four. Just talk about maybe her progression throughout the season, how a little bit of a, a slow start to the indoor season really came on through outdoor. Yeah, um, you know, you start something new and something that's different. Uh, you know, there, there takes some it's just, you know, the time for adjustment. And I think, you know, we battled some injuries early on. I think we went, you know, from not a, not a very heavy workload to a, to a big workload. Um, kind of caught up with, you know, with her there. Um, but I think, you know, made the adjustment, you know, got got accustomed to, you know, to, to our, our workouts and, and uh, you know, has got on board. And, and, and again, like you said, it's come along really nicely here throughout the season. So we're hoping to, you know, do some damage there this weekend. Emily's a, a girl that's been conference athlete of, of conference athlete of the week twice coach and, and just talk about you know what your expectations are, are for her she's running against some some experienced runners at the conference meet this weekend right I mean you look at it on you know on paper there's there's you know three or four girls that are you know probably about three they're gonna make a good run at, at that rookie of the year um, and again that comes off you know, the points that you score at the conference meet so I think she definitely has a good opportunity to uh, to do that um, so it's, it's gonna be interesting to see I want to shift from a freshman to a girl that's run now four years here at Concord, Vivian Ruiz, was ranked top in the steeple there for a couple of weeks. Now she's uh, second in that steeple chase. You know, I know she wants to go out on top, obviously, and at least be an all-conference runner this weekend like she was in, in cross country. What, what has she done to kind of take that next step, I guess, to be in the mix to maybe be a conference champion in the steeplechase this weekend? Yeah, I mean, just made the, you know, the commitment here this whole year. You know, she definitely uh, you know, has worked hard and, and you know, Made a big, you know, big jump, and and uh, you know, it's that, that that girl from Wesleyan, you know, has run a provisional time in the in the uh, in the uh, in the steeple, uh, and there's actually a wheeling girl who's right behind her, so it's she's actually third going into the steeple. Um, but you know, you never know how a race is going to go out. You never know how a race is going to going to unfold. So you know, we I know she's going to go out there and give it everything she's got. Hopefully, come away with at least a you know an all conference performance and and, uh, and a personal best, you know, in that, and you know, hopefully get us some points also in the you know the 15 and the eight. Um, you know, individually there too, hopefully. Coach, before we shift to the guys, I want to take a second and just talk about the distance girls and, and particularly the, those freshmen that have really run strong together this year. What kind of cohesiveness, I guess, have they kind of formed? And I'm talking about Bailey Knowles, Kenna Knowles, uh, Carly Thompson, and Kaylin Kessler. Those, those four girls have really come on throughout the season. They seem to have developed some chemistry for not only this season, but for the future. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, they. they you know, they, again, they came in, they're working hard, they bought into what we're doing, uh, believing in what we're doing, and, and getting better. I mean, you look across the board, it's, it, it would be hard for you to find a female runner who, who, who did not improve this year, uh, no matter you know, what, their, what their events were. Um, you know, and again, that just comes from consistency, hard work, and um, you know, getting out there and just and, and competing. Coach, I'm going to shift over to the guys' side now. and one of your best guys teams in maybe the last decade or so. You guys are, you know, projected to maybe finish second, third, you know, and who knows, maybe even win if, you know, all the dominoes fall in the right place. But uh, you've got a lot of guys ranked n near the top of their events like the girls. And with the guys, let's start in, the, in, that, in that sprinting uh, section now. And, and Wes Fleming, who is, top, or is second in both the uh, – the 100 and the 200 heading into this weekend. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, you know he's had PRs. He just inched his way along throughout the season here. Bad a little bit of an injury there a few, about three 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 weeks ago. Um, I think we've got that behind us. So um, you know I think he, he's got a very strong chance to, to go in there and come away with uh, you know with a victory at least in one of them. So you know we'll see. It's going to be it's going to be exciting there. Jacob Meadows also in the uh, a sprint event, I guess. Some people consider the 400 a sprint event, others consider it a middle distant, distance event. But Jacob Meadows, the defending conference champion, the only returning defending conference champion you have is, is, is Jacob. And what's kind of his goals this week? Obviously, I know he wants to try to defend his championship. But what, I guess, what's going to kind of be his strategy? You know, it's been, a, it's been an interesting year for him. Um, you know, the four hasn't gone quite as well as, we, as he had hoped. I guess throughout the season, 
Um, we were even, you know, talking about, you know, maybe doing the eight, uh, you know, doubling the eight and the four. Um, you know, but my gut just tells me that we, we, we need to be doing the four. Um, practice is going real well here, so I think, you know, he, he's just got to go in, into the into the race with the confidence that he that he has, and not not think too much about you know about everything and just getting in race. I mean, again, workouts have gone have gone great, have gone better than last year. Um, it's just it's just about putting it together at the right time um, in the race, um, and there's no better time than this weekend coming up. So hopefully he can put that all together in a race, which you know just he's just lacked that this year. Um, but all all the pieces are there. You just got to put them together. You have a lot of depth in the middle distance and the distance events, and in the middle distance, it starts with a freshman, Damon Akers, who is you know really burst into the scene this year, and then Roger Foster, who was the top six guy in the 800 last year at the conference meet. You know what? What have you been telling those guys as as they prepare? Because the 800, you just never know what kind of race that's going to turn into. Right. I mean, we don't know for sure yet or not if it's going to be you know two heats of eight or if it's going to be one heat of 16. Um, you know, hoping it's going to be one or two heats of eight. Uh, even though that may leave a couple of our guys, you know, not in that first section, but um, you know they've they've progressed, they've worked hard, they've been they've been they've been fun to work with this year. Um, you know, excited again. They've they've improved, uh, and that's you know hopefully we can we're going to peak here at the right time here this weekend and, and come away with some you know some upsets there. Um, Coach, and then also in the distance events, I mentioned that depth and and the uh, in the 5K particularly, you have a, a slew of guys in the 10K. You have two guys ranked one, two, Jason White and Justin Snyder, but you know, obviously a lot of guys are going to try to double do the ten and the five. What kind of strategy goes into trying to run, you know, fifteen thousand meters in just a you know, in just a three day window? Yeah, I mean it's it's you just try to run as easy as you can and pull off victories. Um, you know, then that's that's still wear and tear on the body, but you know, we'll see what kind of strategy we played out. I mean, Robbie Peters when he won the ten and the five Few years ago, you know, we had a strategy, and you know, it worked. It worked beautifully. Um, so we'll see. I mean, we've definitely got some, you know, some numbers. We have a lot of points on the table right there in the in the, in the five, the ten, and the steeple. I mean, we're one, two, three in the steeple on paper. We're one, two, like you said, in the ten. Five um, K, we're um, one. I guess like four, five, four, yeah. four yeah. five, six. Yeah. You know, I mean, something like that. So yeah, I mean, and when it comes to that five, at the end of that, that's you know, pretty much the last distance race. I mean, everybody's going to be should have at least one race on them, mm -hmm. you know, coming into that five. So it'll be, it'll be interesting and just a good, you know, kind of a gutsy thing. But, um, you know, I know my guys are tough and, and they're going to give everything they've got. And, you know, it's going to be exciting. Like I said, we haven't had a team like this in, you know, a long time, you know, almost a decade, like mm -hmm. you said there, it's been a long time. So, you know, who knows? We pull off the win, you know, on paper, it, it doesn't say so, but, you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Coach, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about your relays on the guy side here. Just briefly that that four by four team especially they've been kind of just chipping away a second here a second there each each week in the last time out when they ran at duke they almost broke the school record and they got a real shot to break the conference record and obviously that's going to be the last event on, on sunday afternoon what what do you want those guys to do I mean, there could be a lot on the line other than just a conference record and a school record yeah, that race is going to be uh, crazy. I bet I bet three teams break the conference record. That, that's my prediction. I mean, Charleston, um, Wheeling just had some guys throw down pretty big. Um, we'll see if they can pull, you know, come back with that again. You know, another week after two big PRs. You know, I know both those guys will probably be on the relay. Uh, but Charleston, you know, is, is tough. Uh, you know, Wheeling ran 320 indoors. Um, West Liberty won it last year at uh, the 321. I mean, they're they're kind of a closet sleeper team sometimes in that aspect. So I mean I think that four by four is just going to come down to just uh, you know guts and, and having a good day and it's going to be it's going to be exciting. Coach, a little bit of a unique situation here as we close out the interview, but finals week here on campus, not not a lot that you could really do about it because you got kids trying to study, kids trying to focus on races, kids trying to get their workouts in. But uh, you as a coach, what are you telling your athletes this week? You know, with with so much on the line in the classroom, but also on the track. You know, just trying to, to do their best. I mean, you know, obviously education comes first and they've got to do their school and, you know, that's that's number one. And, you know, we haven't had too many people missing uh, with workouts so we've been able to get it, you know, get, get get to practice, but, you know, we've had to move a few people doing it later or what things like that. But, you know, the main thing is just trying trying everything they can to get their rest, you know, hydrate and eating well, you know, doing the little things, um, you know, because they do have that added stress of, you know, of taking tests, of doing, you know, doing, doing these finals and papers and projects and all that stuff. And then, and trying to come back out and, and beat our, you know, 
at our peak mentally and physically <laughs> in, in a race. So hopefully, you know, they're doing little things and it, it won't be a, it won't be a big deal. The Mountain East Conference Championships in track and field begin Friday on the campus of West Virginia Wesleyan in Buckhannon, West Virginia. We're going to have updates on the website all weekend long at cumountainlines.com. And as always, for all things Concord Athletics, go on over to our website, cumountainlines.com. For the head coach, Mike Cox, I am Wes McKinney. This has been the Coach's Corner.